What's going on, you guys? Uh, Ghost here, just talking about the game. Uh, this was one of those. Uh, it's one of those satisfying games at home for once. I know they only scored 17 points, but I thought the defense played amazing tonight, minus the opening possession. I mean, there was one blocked field goal and one missed field goal where they got kind of lucky, but really they allowed 13 points if if it, if they made those field goals. That that's as solid of a job as you can from the defense. You know, Jim Mora. Kind of said, oh, we won. We won last week. That's all that mattered. Well, this time you saw, at least they addressed the defense. There was a lot of issues, and I thought Arizona's spread, fancy offense was going to beat us. But no, they didn't. We've actually beaten them now three times in a row. And <laughs> it's very weird to say that. Uh, our history against Arizona is not good <laughs> in football, at least since Durrell and Neuheisel were coaches. we Arizona has kicked our ass a lot and <laughs> until Jim Moore got in. So, uh yeah, a very satisfying win. Uh, Arizona got a win in Oregon this year. People were going to crown them and give them some points, but they clamped down on defense really solidly tonight, minus the first possession. Uh, I give credit where it's due. There were penalties and things I can be mad about, but they adjusted in the second half, so it was a shutout. Shutout in the second half, minus the two missed field goals. Offensively, I, I still am critical of Hunley, but tonight... He did his job. It was not his fault why they did not score more points. I thought his scrambles were better, and he didn't make any stupid mistakes, minus that one fumble. Uh, you're not going to be perfect, but he didn't make like a bad pick, and I think the coaching staff played conservative in that point to prevent it. I don't mind that they did. They went conservative. I know fans are not going to be happy over that, but I'm okay with it, that they... Uh, went a little more laid back on that role. I mean, Paul Perkins, if we run the ball, we can win games. We have to be able to run the ball. Because Hunley going, tell, asking him to throw, throw, throw is not going to cut it. I know, thankfully, there was that one that one play where there was that throw and that one throw to Jordan Payton that worked out well. But uh, still, they they did their job tonight. It was not pretty. I think both teams had a, had pretty good defenses tonight. I give, give credit where it's due on both sides for that. I don't think this is a huge upset. It's a mini upset, in my opinion, but uh, the rankings, I felt Arizona overachieved the start. They should have three losses now because that game to Cal was kind of lucky. That was a, we all know that was a lucky win. Uh, but yeah, you know, Arizona fans, y'all look forward to uh, Sean Miller anyways. So, you know, basketball season's right around the corner and just about the start for y'all. So you could look forward to that while football season kept you tied. Uh, anyways, going forward with UCLA, I still think this team is flawed, and I don't know about next week, but at least they showed improvement. They didn't just tread water and barely pull it off against a bad Colorado team. This team actually finished, and uh, I'll give credit where it's due. But uh, I still need to see a little bit more improvement for me to say, oh, they're going to beat USC or they're going to beat Stanford. I still think those two games at the end are going to be tough. And well, Even when we go at Washington, we don't see this this team very often, and We've never seen Chris Peterson's uh, coach team, so who knows? We got the talent, but I need to see better things. Uh, the defensive line finally played better this week. That's been an underachieving unit for part most of the year, but finally they did something tonight. So let me know what you all think. See you all later. I'm happy. Go Bruins.